Now, I just got done watching the last video that I uploaded to my channel and I thought, why not just show you how to go in and change your username and password when it comes to connecting to a database? Because if some of you are sitting there with you know, a Mac computer or something where things are a little bit different when it comes to the password, then you may want to know how to change your username and password in order to, you know, decide yourself what you want it to be. And as I did that, I did also run into a very well-known bug when it comes to PHP My Admin that actually prevents you from going in and clicking on user accounts in order to change your username and password. Now, the error you might be getting is called exampt error number 1034 index for table DB is corrupt or something like that. So, you know, having something corrupt inside a table, uh, there is a very easy way to solve it. So I will show you how to do that after I'll show you how to go in and change your username and password. And then, you know, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to solve a corrupt table. So the way you change your username and password is by going inside PHP My Admin by clicking it up here to make sure you're inside the main page of PHP My Admin. Uh, because if you click a database, you can see all the menus change. So that is not what you want to do. So going inside PHP My Admin, we're going to go under user accounts. And then you can see we have all these different users that are here as a default. Now, the one that you're looking for is the one that has a host name of localhost and a username as root. How do we know that? Well, we used root in the last episode where we actually connected to our database. So, you know, you need to have one where the username is root and also where we connect to a host called localhost. So this is going to be the one down here at the bottom. So what you can do is click on edit privileges. So you can go in here and then you can see we get a new menu. We can change this user here. Uh, we do have one up here called login information. So if you click that one, you can see that we can change the username from root to something that we may want it to be. Um, so if I want this to be Danny or something else, then we can change that in here, just change it, go down and actually, you know, click go at the bottom here in order to make the changes happen. Uh, do not go in here and do the password in here because there is apparently a bug that can happen where you go in and change the password directly in here. Uh, I'm not saying it is going to happen to you, but it is better to go back up inside the top here where it says change password, click it and then change it in here instead. So you go in here, uh, you choose to have a password, then you enter you know, something. So in this case, it could be anything that you might want to think of, and then you retype it, and then you click go. And then you basically change the user information and the password for the user that we use in order to connect to a database. Um, but now let's talk about the bug that you may encounter, which is the one called error code 1034. Uh, so basically, when you click this user accounts up here, instead of going inside right here, it may throw a error, which gives you a pop-up with the error message that I just told you about, and basically can't access this page here. The way you're going to fix it is by first of all, figure out where exactly the corruption is, because that is what you need to find out in order to solve it. Uh, so the way you can do that is by going back inside PHP My Admin and then clicking on whatever database that it's actually telling you there is something corrupt inside of. So when you give the error message, it's going to give you a query string where it is going to say there is a corruption or an error happening from a certain database. Uh, so it's gonna have a query that says something, something from a certain database, which in my case was from the MySQL database, which is the most common one to get this corruption in. So if you were to go down, click the MySQL database over here on the side, you're going to see all the tables from in here. Uh, in my case, it did actually tell me inside the error message that it was from inside the database table. But if you're a little bit in doubt about where the corruption is, you can scroll down to the bottom here and go down to where you can check all. And then with selected, you're going to say you want to check table. And when you do that, it is going to check and give you, you know, some status thing. Now, in my case, just checking the tables here automatically fixed the error for me, which I actually thought I was going to show you how to actually fix the error when I started this video here because I did not go in and repaired it yet. Uh, but just checking the table gave me a couple of error messages. It said that my uh, MySQL DB here, there was some sort of errors inside of it. It was corrupt. Uh, it gave me red warning messages. And I basically just went back again to PHP My Admin from here and that fixed the errors for me. Uh, but if that doesn't work for you, then you want to go down and just take note that it was the mysql.db table. Go back inside the mysql database and then you want to make sure you select the db table that is over here. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom and with selected, you're going to say repair table. And when you do that, it is going to try and repair it. And when you do that, it should also fix the error message for you. So after you repair the table that is broken, uh, you can go back inside PHP My Admin, and then you can click on user accounts and then everything should be fixed. So you can go in here and, and actually 
um, you know, <laughs> change your username and password. So that is how I can solve it. In my case, it solved it just by me checking the table. I didn't even have to repair it in order to, to fix this issue here. But if checking it doesn't work, then choose repair. And basically that should work for you. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this lesson lesson fix i guess this is kind of well i did show you how to change the username and password so this could be considered a lesson so um thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time